Let's talk about rosacea. This used to be called acne rosacea, but perhaps because of the confusion with the other type of acne called acne vulgaris, which presents in teenagers and in women with hormonal imbalance, the name was simplified to rosacea. Rosacea is common in areas such as your forehead, your nose, your cheeks, and the chin. It can present with persistent flushing, which is where your face might feel quite warm and hot. You would also have redness of the face, for, for example, redness of the cheeks, and dilation of your blood vessels, known as what we call telegentasia. And you might also notice pus-filled spots, which is what we call papules and postules. In some people, they can also have eye involvement, where you might get conjunctivitis, blepharitis, which is inflammation of the eyelids, where you might also have a gritty sensation of the eyes. Some people can have dry eyes, and they can also present with redness of the eyes, and you might have lumps and eyelids, known as a calazoon. Rosacea is more common in fair skin types, so you might not get it in black people such as myself, and it's also common in the ages between 40 to 60, and more in women than in men. Rosacea is thought to be caused by several factors, possibly genetic factors, because it is said to run in some families. You might have mum having it, daughter having it, siblings as well. But there has been no genetic link found so far for the causes of rosacea. It is also thought to be due to your immune system, where you might have an autoimmune reaction, can also be due to environmental factors such as sun exposure, extreme hot and cold weather, hot drinks such as coffee, drinking caffeine, spicy foods as well as stress. Now rosacea is a chronic condition which means there is no cure so treatment is aimed at relieving the symptoms. So in terms of treatments we do have a whole variety of what we call topical treatments such as brimodin gel, metronidazole gel which is something that i'm familiar with so for example if you presented to me with erythema which is redness of the face as well as the pus filled spots i'll be giving you metronidazole 0.75 percent gel to apply twice a day other treatments include topical ivermectin as well as azelaic acid 0.15 percent gel which is also used for acne vulgaris but can also be used for rosacea these gels are quite effective for mild symptoms where you have your pus filled spots and redness of the skin as well as your dilatation of your blood vessels but you would have to use treatment for maybe between 8 to 12 weeks before you can see a resolution of your symptoms. If your symptoms are quite bad we would sometimes add an alternative treatment such as the antibiotic which is taken orally such as your erythromycin, clarithromycin and your class of tetracycline such as your doxycycline or oxytetracycline. And this treatment, similar to your topical treatments, can be used for another 8 to 12 weeks. And you might find that in total, you're actually using this treatment for up to 16 weeks. But it's quite important that you have a review with your doctor at each stage just to make sure that the treatment's working. If treatment's not working, then your doctor would usually refer you to a dermatologist for further treatment. So doctor, what can I do to help myself? In terms of self-help techniques, as I mentioned previously, sun exposure is one of the risk factors. So you might want to protect your skin by using a sun protection factor of at least 30 on your face every day. Try and avoid using soaps or perfumed products to wash your face. As we mentioned, extremes of heat or cold can worsen rosacea, so you want to avoid heat or sunlight as much as possible, avoid cold weather, you know, try and reduce your intake of alcohol, avoid hot drinks whenever you can, and importantly, avoid stress. Stress is known to trigger rosacea. One thing I forgot to mention, which is quite important in rosacea, is it can actually cause enlargement of the nose, where you get this thickening and inflammation of the nose, known as rhinophyma. This can usually be treated with a course of doxycycline, which can be taken for up to 16 weeks. If that doesn't help, there is the option of laser treatment or even minor surgery. Now I hope you find this short talk on rosacea quite useful and please feel free to subscribe to my channel.